Hello everyone, today we are going to learn this about the switch case in uses in JavaScript. The switch case is basically the switch statement used to perform different type of action and the best one the different type of condition. As you can see on the flowchart over here there is a switch expression and there will be some condition and if the condition is the first case one it is true. It is massive then it will be run the code block one. And if it falls then it will be checked for the case number two and if it is still false if it is still false then it will be checked for the default and if it gets to is right then it will be ready to execute the code block too or this all of this extension this case is not matching is the condition about it then it will be run the default condition which is the default statement and then it will be end of this execution over here so now let me show you the switch case some of the example over here so you can see that look syntax about the switch case so first we will check that the switch case this keyword over here and then the expression then case number and then the case block and then the break break it will be take some it means that when this first case when it is completed the task is come for confirmation then it will be take a break for some time and then it will be checked for the next cases about here so this is the way that case check and there is the let's try this example and we're going to try this example this code about here this game and this code we're going to do the execution and we're going to do the practically in our coding instead that how it's perform and how i am what i'm talking about it and you can understand that basically it will be understood very exemplary using that example and it will show the live practical that how it's working over there so let's start this video right now here so now here you can say I've open my visual code studio now i need to create a file in our js folder and this file name is swiss is w i t c a swiss dot js file and save this file over here now just back to our index.html okay now hide the left side of window over there now connect the javascript file and here in our js folder we have already directed there now connecting the javascript file this is swiss.js now save this file and open with this file with the live browser over there so this is the browser live extension you can see here so it is opening over there so now we need to go for the console now click the right click of your mouse and select the inspection mode then select that console mode so now here you can see it was reloaded and there is nothing no coding over here so i need to cancel this of the console over here now just back to our file and open that swiss.js file so first of all i'm going to take a variable so variable that is let keyword and taking the variable which is games and it is equal to i'm taking that football okay football Okay, after taking the variable, now terminate this line over here and take a space and I'm just opening the Swiss keyword. So after taking the Swiss keyword, now open a function over here. Now the condition we are going to write in that keyword or variable, so which is games. Now copy this games from here. Now input the games in our Swiss case function condition over here. Now take a space and open the curly braces over here. Then inside of this, we are going to open the case over here the case and then take a space and take that string type like we are going to about there the throw ball so it is throw ball and terminate this now take the enter over here now we need to break line so it will be take some time after this running this case one so after taking that and then we are going to we can just change this name bell over here so let me copy this line so one two three four okay that's it i'm taking that fourth three third time over there okay then we're going to painting something over here that it will be show that when the execution is throwable so i'm going to take a console over here so the console dot log and take a function now adding a string over here so that is i don't like i'm writing here i don't like it so then take this this terminate of this line now for this line so we're going to change for the case 2 which is i'm going to add this basketball and this is basketball and then here we're going to taking this line popping from here the console line over there now after this line and we're going to paste it over here now here i'm just going to give it i okay removing that don't and i'm just writing it i like okay basket ball so then it is also done so here have a space 
now going to for this now we're going to changing this text over here which is i'm going to writing cricket okay cricket and then taking over here now pasting that console line and here i'm writing i don't like cricket okay that's it now and this one for i'm writing football and after writing that football so here i'm writing the console pasting this console over here and i'm writing here i like football so after writing this now here i'm taking another which is the default cases so i need to copy this line from here this three line just copy it from here and take a space up enter here now just here i'm going to make it as a default case so which is our default case so i need to remove this one and write it here the default after writing the default and here i need to write that i like other games okay that's it now save this file okay save this file and back to browser so you can see uncaught error is on expectation token using there so here the syntax is error over there so we have provided there instead of clone and we have added this semicolon over here now just back to here so this is our the case so we have provided here the semicolon it will be a single double clone so here using that clone over here for this all of these are cases using clone and the default also now save this file now back to the browser and let's reload it it was still not working there is uncaught reference zero football is not defined okay now let's back to here okay the games which is taking the football so it's need to define as a string over here so take one here and this is one there now save this file now back to the browser and you can see that i like football so it was perfectly displayed over here so i did the some of their mistakes over there so that if you are doing first time then you will be get some mistakes we were going to do some mistakes over here so that i made some mistake as knowingly and i had do it that fixed over there so that you can understand that basically that how you are going to doing the mistakes and you can fix them so i don't going to do that this directly and this directly so i just knowingly i did that mistake over here so that you can understand perfectly that which is you are going to do practical and where you are going to do that mistake over there so now i'm changing over here some another case which is cricket and save this file now let's check out it and there you can see this i like other games so i think i have any spelling mistake over here yes there is is the c over there now save this file and now you can see i don't like cricket it was displayed over here now if i provide here this anything else so i'm writing this um volleyball so i'm writing over there and save this file so this this variable we have defined it this is we haven't any our cases i haven't divided defined it anywhere this volleyball is executed so it will be definitely executed on our default cases now let's check out it there you can see i like other games and which is the condition this console we have in our default cases so this is basically work the cases and how we can perform these cases for the multiple types of different types of tasks and using the multiple types of different condition over there so i hope you understand all process i was using the swiss cases and if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoy this tutorial please like our videos and share the videos with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us